Housing issues are not improving at GBCI. In fact, this long-running problem at the prison only getting worse. Now, one hoped-for solution doesn't seem to have any traction. So where will solutions come from? Emily Riley joining us from our newsroom now with more on this. So how much worse are these problems, Emily? Right, Chris, so the last time we checked in on this issue was around May of last year, 2022. And since then, the Green Bay Correctional Institution's vacancies went up by nearly 12%. Uh, and that's just one. Other ones in our area, the Techita Institution went up by 3% in vacancies, and the Oshkosh Correctional Facility went up by nearly a percent in vacancies. Um, and the issue's just been growing over the past few months. And uh, that first one, that 12% jump was um, just a lot more than expected. So what does that mean for the people that are actually still working in the prison? I mean, the trickle down here has got to be pretty severe. Right. So um, I was actually speaking with um, an officer who um, he's a limited term employee there. He was formerly retired and then he decided to go back as a limited term employee. Um, and he was saying that there's long shifts there. There's people that are working five 16 hour shifts per week. And that's just a ridiculous amount of overtime, he says. Um, and he was saying he was looking through his emails and he actually saw an email from an officer that was saying he had a specific shift that he was trying to get off and he had to take his child to a doctor appointment and was trying to get off this certain day. And he was offering his own money uh, for people to take that shift and nobody oh. took that first bid. And so then he upped the amount even more and it was a lot of his own money, he was saying. Um, and so that just, that one example just goes to show what the situation is like there and how, um, how stretched thin they are there. Emily, just yesterday, we know Governor Evers was in town. He was touting parts of his budget that will be used for infrastructure. Included in that is $30 million for upgrades to the prison. How was that received? Right. I also spoke with um, Representative David Steffen today, and he it was received poorly. He said it is a $30 million Band-Aid, that this facility just needs to be completely replaced and that there's it's not worth saving. It was built in the 1800s, and both people I spoke with today just think they you know, need a new facility to accommodate um, staffing and inmates. All right, Emily, thanks so much for that.